In 1950 China is at war with the United States. Chinese troops crossed the river to support North Korea's revolt against the U.S. After three years of fighting, the two sides engaged in a final battle. A unit codenamed Yanchan Division, they're headed to Kumsong for support, but the river at the bottom of the hill stopped them. But if they fail to arrive at their assigned position by 6 o'clock the next morning, then it will lead to the defeat of this war. How to cross the river quickly became the biggest problem for the Chinese army. On July 12, 1953, squad leader of the Chinese battery, Guan, he's watching the enemy anxiously. Most of the Chinese soldiers will be here soon, and an enemy reconnaissance plane just came by. An attack could be launched at any time. They only have two anti-aircraft guns to counter the planes. How to successfully protect the army? Across the river is a big challenge. Zhang Fei has brought the deployment of his superiors. An anti-aircraft gun facing the enemy. Another hidden. This means anti-aircraft guns facing the enemy will be attacked. Something even more unlucky happened. They don't don't have the shells to transport them now. They have less than 60 shells left. The bridge is coming together. Zhang Fei asked Guan to hide the gun position. Be ready to fight at all times. But before the words are out of his mouth, enemy planes are coming. Airplanes blew up an improvised bridge repaired by Chinese soldiers. Anti-aircraft units prepare to counterattack. Zhang Fei is aiming at the enemy planes. He doesn't think it's high enough to hit. Guan pushed him away. He was shooting at enemy planes. He managed to shoot down an American plane. Guan is aiming at at another enemy plane. But Zhang Fei was stopped by too few shells. Guan is not happy. He asked to switch places with Zhang Fei. How can a squad leader order a platoon leader? Actually, Mr. Guan was a company commander. He's Zhang Fei's teacher. But Guan violated the discipline. He's been demoted to squad leader. Now, the apprentice commands the teacher. Not only did Guan disobey the command, he even sang opera and flirted with Zhang Fei. <laughs> Chinese troops will be here soon. The sappers are busy repairing the bridge. Guan and Zhang Fei. They're also moving into their gun positions. Repair of simple bridge completed. The troops are on the bridge ready to cross the river. But the enemy planes are coming again. The soldiers already on the bridge had no other choice. Only the front group passes quickly. The rear team is temporarily withdrawn. US shelling comes again. It blew up the newly repaired bridge again. The Chinese engineers had to hurry to build the bridge again. The Chinese can do wonders anywhere. A simple bridge was bombarded by American planes and artillery, but it was never completely destroyed. It's getting to be nighttime. Zhang Fei feels that something is wrong. He blew his whistle to alert Guan. Guan quickly took his position on the anti-aircraft gun. The enemy planes are here, but he's not aiming for the bridge. The U.S. Army is trying to destroy Guan's location. The bullets are kicking up dust all around them. Took the lives of several fighters in an instant. Guan captures the target quickly. He kept shooting at the plane, trying to shoot this plane down. But they ran out of shells. The enemy planes are coming in again. It's a matter of life and death. Guan can abandon his gun. But the Chinese army is crossing the river. Guan is worried about the safety of the soldiers. He picked up the flare gun. Send up a flare. At the cost of his own life. Indicate to Zhang Fei the location of enemy planes. Zhang Fei has found the target. He's got a shot at an enemy plane. But the enemy plane was only wounded in the flank. Zhang Fei leaves his position with a grave expression. He's running towards the Guan position. Zhang Fei blew a whistle. He was hoping to get a response from Guan. But Guan won't respond anymore. Guan and his teammates were sacrificed. The bridge is fixed again. Chinese troops began to move quickly through. But the enemy planes are coming again. To cover the crossing of the bridge, Zhang Fei fires five power light bullets. He wants to find out exactly where the enemy planes are. They watch the sky carefully. But the US plane didn't reveal its exact position. Zhang Fei ordered his soldiers to light torches. He's ready to reveal his position. Getting the attention of a American planes. Whether it's to cover the bridge for the troops, to complete the mission, or to shoot down enemy planes, to avenge his teacher Guan and other fallen comrades, this time he has to fight for it. The enemy planes were really attracted by the fire. The enemy pilot provocatively threw down the empty wine bottle. Zhang Fei is very angry. <laughs>
Enemy planes are coming down on him. The bullets shot at Zhang Fei with a whistling sound that cut through the air. Zhang Fei has also locked onto the target at this moment. He keeps adjusting his position. Keep firing shells in the crossfire. And the enemy planes kept firing. The two sides are desperately trying to shoot at each other. This is clearly a life-threatening way of fighting. They have to win. Don't care about their lives. Cannonballs accompanied by Zhang Fei's hatred and anger. Fired at American planes. The bullets fired by American planes are like arrows tearing through the sky. For Zhang Fei, the purpose of destroying this plane. It was not only to avenge his teacher's death. It's also to cover the smooth crossing of the Chinese troops. Demonstrating the perseverance of Chinese soldiers. They must accomplish this difficult task. But the enemy planes are swooping in at high speed and dropping bombs and then they're gone. Zhang Fei woke up, he's seriously injured, and his teammates were sacrificed. How strong is the willpower of the Chinese soldiers? Zhang Fei was seriously wounded by the bombardment, but he endured the excruciating pain that cauterized his wounds. He used it to stop the jet of blood. His anti-aircraft guns have been blown up, and the enemy planes were not destroyed. Zhang Fei with his strong willpower, he came to Guan's position. He threw gasoline all over the place, pressing the only three shells into the anti-aircraft gun. Zhang Fei climbed up and pulled out his pistol. He's lighting up the perimeter. Once again, he used his life as bait. Attract that enemy plane. He's going to fight the enemy plane to the death. Zhang Fei used his only remaining right hand to adjust the anti-aircraft gun. Aim at the enemy planes that are attracted to it. He sings and prepares for the final showdown. <laughs> shell struck the American plane. With Zhang Fei's fury, Zhang Fei took out a whistle and blew it. As a tribute to his teacher, he hit an enemy plane. Finished his mission. Enemy B-29 bombers dropped large quantities of incendiary bombs. Both sides of the river were in flames. The bridge was destroyed again. But the engineer company fighters formed a human bridge. Let the Chinese troops cross the river without incident. In the end, China won the war. And in this battle, China has sacrificed many soldiers. But China has a message for the world. Gone are the days when the West could overrun a country by setting up artillery in an eastern country. In recent years, China has successively retrieved from South and North Korea the remains of military personnel who were buried but not found at the time. They are fathers to their sons husbands to their wives. They're also soldiers, but they're not like us. At battle at Lake Changjin, at Battle of Triangle Hill, in Battle of Kumsong, Chinese soldiers successfully resist U.S. attack, as well as protecting the motherland. 197,653. This is the number of Chinese troops sacrificed in the battle against the U.S.